So I got started in this industry long, long ago. I uh, always had kind of an affinity for food and cooking. Um, I was a wrestler in high school, and so I spent a lot of my time not eating food and instead watching Food Network and, and chefs on TV. But I always knew that I that I wanted to be in this industry, and, and since I was 16 years old, I've, I've worked in different kitchens. Um, I'm 35 now, so I'm about to hit the 20 year mark. I think one of the most interesting and, and kind of alluring things of being in this industry is having a job that you can go to and every day is exciting. It's all very hands-on and it all is towards this end goal of creating this really enjoyable experience for our guests. This area just has in, incredible produce, incredible proteins. So you kind of let the ingredients do the talking for you a little bit. Local is is a very, very strong presence here in Moscow, Idaho. Our, our farmer's market is, I think it's been ranked nationally multiple times. It's, a, it's an incredible thing they have going on. And I'll, there's just a, an abundance of smaller scale farmers doing these really, really incredible products. The growing season over here isn't necessarily super long. It is a little short, but it's wildly abundant when it is happening. Spring Valley, they always have an incredible amount of really, really nice blueberries. Pokey Creek is just up north uh, by Potlatch, Deep Roots Farm, Affinity Farm. We get a ton of stuff from uh, Wingover Farm, which is actually right here in town. It's like a kind of like a small plot actually in town. This whole area we cover cropped for all of the spring. It was such a wet spring. It was actually a great year for that. Yeah, so this is fresh ginger and we've been growing it all season and you can try the leaf. You can totally eat the greens too. So you could probably use them in some kind of, I don't know, cocktail. Am I following you in here? We're going to the winter squash. Okay. I love working res with restaurants because um, it just, it like spurs my creativity. It's really inspiring. Yeah, that's good to hear because I feel like we pull creativity from you guys too. Yeah. That's why we're always thinking, okay, what do you have that's beyond what we're used to? Mm -hmm. some really incredible tomatoes and heirloom cherry tomato varietals uh, in several of our dishes, multiple salads on our gnocchi. We have local squashes, zucchini that are on multiple uh, dishes. We're getting potatoes and onions right now, our, our all local product. Utilizing local products does pose a certain set of, of challenges, but it's kind of like one of those uh, you know, you, you reap the rewards of, of what you sow, where, yeah, it takes a little more thought, it takes a little more effort. Uh, you might be battling with smaller quantities and, and not having them around as long, but unequivocally, I mean, you can ask any chef anywhere that if you're buying the food where you are, if you're, if you're cooking with those products that are growing where you're at and they're, you know, reaching their peak, you're always gonna get a better product. It's always gonna taste better. The depth of flavor that you get is incredible and there's as much that you can gain from getting your products from a good place as you can from having a really talented chef. And when those two things come together, that's when you start to see a really, really nice finished product.